Good morning. We're in the last week before Christmas. This is, it's all about faith, every home and church. Normally, I would go into the study of 1 John chapter 3, but during the Christmas season, we see many things happen. Miracles, happiness, hard times, frustration, uh, depression. And so, this is a hard season on a lot of people. Once in a while, I speak of something that's happened in my life, and in recognition of the season, I would like to tell you a true story of just how important God has been in my life. I was raised pretty much alone. As you know, I lived in the back of an old car, taught myself to read and write, got married. I had four children. And during that time that I had four children, my wife contacted cancer. The same cancer that my daughter eventually contacted and died. My wife died at the age of 39. My daughter, there's my wife. Hi, wife. My daughter died at the age of 39 from the same cancer. It was hereditary, and it carried over to my children and my grandchildren. Uh, this is a tragic thing, but it's pretty much under control. Anyway, I wanted to tell you how important Christ was during this period of time in my life. Now, when my wife first contacted cancer, she was a Mormon. I came home from work one night. She was in bed on a, something called Brompton's Solution for Pain. And I began reading scripture. She'd had several surgeries. And by the time I got through the Bible, this Bible, we were no longer Mormons. She had accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. And I loved her dearly. And so, one night, after I went to bed, through tears, actually, I told Satan, you cure my wife, you can take me. I knew that was wrong because I'd been a Christian for many years. And so I prayed for forgiveness for that. And that very night, in my darkened room, I was awakened. I was awakened by a spirit standing at the foot of my bed. A spirit that said to me many things. I was terrified. That spirit left. And I continued reading the Bible and I continued praying every night. And one night, while I was on my knees saying the Lord's Prayer, it felt like I had been lifted off of the floor 12 to 18 inches. And I had been lifted off of the floor at a certain word in the Lord's Prayer. And for the first and only time in my life, I looked up and began speaking in tongues. And I wasn't speaking just to be speaking. I was answering questions or answering something that I had received from heaven. I have no idea how long it lasted, but I could hear myself speaking in tongue. When that was over, 
I went back down to the floor and was on my knees, and the very next word out of my mouth was the next word that I would have spoken in the Lord's Prayer. Now, I consider that a miracle. Things like that happen to people, and we don't often hear of it. I'm sharing it with you because I know God is real. That's not the first time that God has intervened in my life. As I was maturing as an adult in my 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, I've often been called to the bedside of people that were spending their last days on this earth. And I was always asked to pray for them, to pray with them. And I never refused. I never understood why I was asked to do that. I'm not a minister. I'm not an apostle. I'm not a prophet. I'm a disciple, just like you are. The word disciple means learn. I'm a learner. But as time went on, and this happened more and more, and I would be asked to maybe preside at, at a funeral. And I never refused that either. I'm not a, 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 an ordained minister. I'm not a, school, a, a Sunday school teacher. I'm just a guy that's always read the Bible and always believed in Jesus Christ. As a youngster, for reasons that I did not understand, I would find myself or go into an open church, and they weren't locked at that time. But I would find myself going into an open church and sitting in a pew and just sitting there at maybe 10 or 12 years old. That's very unusual. So God has had a plan for me. I haven't fulfilled it all as yet. Like Jonah, there's been times when I've tried to sidestep my responsibility that I've been asked to do. And like Jonah, I was reminded and made to do what God asked me to do. So I won't drag this out, but I wanted to share it with you because in this Christmas season, where we have the depression and we have the tears and we have the lonely people and we have the, the children that, that are suffering so greatly and we have people in this world that, that are dying and that are asked the question, are you a Christian? And if they answer yes, bang, they're dead. But you see, those people that answer that question is yes, I am a Christian. Dying takes but a second. Heaven or hell is going to last for an eternity. So I'm just saying to you, enjoy the season. Enjoy your family. Think and give to those that need your help, to those that need the generosity that's been given to you. And I'll close now by just saying I love you guys. Thanks for listening. And have a merry, merry Christmas. I love you very much.